Hi, Ryan Byrne here with a quick tutorial on how to further analyze and manipulate mannequins in Creo. As always, I will start by closing all other windows I currently have open. Here I have an assembly with an extrude already in place. This extrude will act as the floor. From the ribbon, I can select the mannequin tab followed by the insert mannequin button. The top of the floor will act as my first reference, and the front edge of the floor is my second. Next, I set my view orientation to 3 fourths rear, then return to my ribbon and select Manipulate Mannequin. A dialog box appears. In this dialog box, I will select the option labeled 1D along segments axis. When the coordinate systems appear, I will left click on the Z axis located on the mannequin's left elbow. If I move my cursor, the limb now moves along with it. Middle clicking will orient the arm back to its original position. I'm now going to manipulate a different body part. Moving down to the wrist, I select its X axis. If I move my cursor, the entire arm will now move, along with the wrist. Another way to manipulate the mannequin is in a 2D body drag which can also be selected from the Mannequin Motion dialog box. After I set the view orientation to front close-up, I left click on the forehead of the mannequin and move my cursor. The mannequin's entire head now moves as well as its neck. I middle click to reset the mannequin. If I move out a bit, I can practice with the 2D body drag tool by trying it on some of the other parts of the mannequin. Again, I can middle click at any time to reset the mannequin to its original position. After my mannequin has been reset, I will return to the mannequin manipulation dialog box and select 2D point drag. Again, I can set my view to 3 fourths rear, then select the middle hand segment and move it around. The segment stays parallel to the screen as its orientation and placement both change. The fourth and final mannequin manipulation tool that will be discussed in this video is rotate around axis. After I select it from the Mannequin Manipulation dialog box and set my view to 3 fourths rear, I will zoom in on the mannequin's left hand and select its Z axis. The wrist and hand will now rotate along that axis with the motion of my cursor. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. This is Ryan Byrne from LearningExchange.PTC.com. Feel free to check out more content from PTC University or at LearningExchange.PTC.com. Thanks.